Well, this might possibly be one of the redneckiest 3D printers that I've made, but it works, so whatever. I had to try to build one of these because I've seen other people do it. So this is an e-waste 3D printer that is made out of your recycled DVD drives and a 3D printing pen. So how does it work? Well, you can see on my z-axis here, this is just a a uh, DVD drive. There's the stepper right there. And I've got an X and Y um, carriage, you know, made out of uh, DVD drives. These were from um, a laptop DVD drives, so they're a lot thinner than your normal ones. So I just mounted uh, one, I removed the lasers out of both, and I hot glued the uh, one to the other one at a 90 degree angle and so uh, X is you know one and that moves Y that's on top of that one so um, and I've got the standard uh, what do you call it um, extruder motor here I just bought a cheap one and your uh, Arduino ramps combination as well so this is actually printing fairly well. This is maybe the second or third print that I've made here. Um, the big trick behind this, uh, just besides connecting all the uh, stepper motors and such, is that I have to keep this running, this 3D pen running, by pretending that this connector here, eh, can I do this with one hand? Probably not. Anyway, I have to constantly use a piece of wire and jumper this to tell the 3D printing, printing pen to turn back on again to keep the heat on because it's not directly connected, there we go, to, um, to the Arduino. So what I do have inside here, and here's what I did, so I'm going to pause this and come on, anytime you can pause now, ah, whatever. So <clears throat> I've still got the original hot end right here and the heater inside it and what I did was uh, remove the motor up here at the top and I threaded a, uh, a wide uh, 3 8 inch quick connect down through the top there so I could feed my Teflon tube from my extruder directly down into that into the hot end and then where the switch is right down here that you would normally press to activate the heat and uh, move and extrude, uh, I ran that out to that other connector that you saw, and I'm going to eventually integrate that into the uh, Arduino at some point. Uh, but uh, right now I'm just manually keeping that alive and just feeding 12 volts to it uh, from the power supply. So the other big trick to this was that if you've ever tried to build one of these, you know that a simple DVD drive lead screw is not enough to lift my pen up and down. It just doesn't have enough torque. So <clears throat> I used a pulley. I just threaded some bearings together on a bracket and I added some weight down here at the bottom to counterweight the 3D pen. So now my stepper drive does have enough torque to be able to lift this up and uh, be able to print in the z-axis. So I'm still working on my other printer, but I kind of got bored and always wanted to build one of these, so I am building it. Oh, that's the other thing I forgot, is this has uh, a very high-end feature to it, and that is a magnetic removable bed. So there you go. You can see the X and Y axis there, but I have this piece of acrylic, and I put three flathead screws into the back of that and I've got three magnets right here that I took out of the laser assemblies so those were all recycled so I can just click this down here and it holds it into place and when I'm ready to remove this to remove the print I just take that off so you know me well you don't know me but I have magnets everywhere and I like magnets so anyway that's my latest project that uh, has been captivating my attention.